Excel is packed with hidden tricks that can save you hours of manual work if you know where to look. One of the best ones? Automatically highlighting important data so you can instantly spot patterns, trends and outliers without manually searching through thousands of rows of data. Think about spotting underperforming sales or tracking overdue payments, identifying top performing employees or flagging unusual trends in reports. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Let's imagine you're running an e-commerce business and you want to keep an eye on product returns because let's be honest, a high return rate usually means something's off. Maybe the product has quality issues, maybe the sizing is inconsistent, or maybe customers just didn't get what they expected. In this spreadsheet, we've got a list of products across different categories, electronics, clothing, home and kitchen, and more. Each product has a few key details, total sales, units sold, units returned, and return rate. And return rate is the key metric we'll focus on. This is just the proportion of returned units as a percentage of the total units sold for each product. The problem is some categories naturally have higher return rates than others. Think about it. People are way more likely to return clothes if they don't fit than they are to return a TV. So instead of just flagging products with a high return rate in general, we need to compare each product against the average return rate for its category. And doing this manually, no thanks. That's why we're going to let Excel handle it for us automatically. The first thing I'm going to do is format this data in an Excel table with the keyboard shortcut Control T. It's detected that my table has headers, which it does, so I'll click OK. I'm just going to change the formatting to something more subtle. Formatting it in an Excel table is just going to make it quick and easy to work with and allow it to update automatically. The next step is to calculate the average for each category. We'll call it Category Average Return Rate. Now to do this, we're going to use the Average If function, which calculates the average of values that meet a specific condition. The range is our category column. The criteria is the category on the current row. And then the average range is the return rate. Close parentheses, copies down because it's in a table. Let's format it as a percentage, and now we can see the values. So this is displaying each category's average return rate. And if we look at home and kitchen, you can see they're all the same. And to prove it's calculating correctly, I can filter the category to only show home and kitchen. And then if we select the return rate column and you look down in the bottom right, you can see the average is 14%, which is what we're getting with our average if. So Happy with that, let's clear the filter on that column. And now I can use some conditional formatting to highlight the products that need our attention, which will make them easier to see and work with. So with the column selected on the Home tab, I'm going to go Conditional Formatting, New Rule. And here I want to use a formula to determine which cells to format, which is simply, is the return rate greater than the category average return rate? Now here I need to remove the dollar sign from in front of the row number. That's going to allow the conditional formatting rule to be copied down to each row in the range. Now I can set the format. Let's set the font color to white and the fill color to red. Click OK. We get a preview here of what it will look like. Click OK. And now all the products with above average return rates for their category are automatically highlighted, making it instantly clear which ones need attention. Now this is just one way to make Excel do the work for you, but if you want to level up your skills and work even faster, you need to know the advanced techniques that Excel Power users rely on every day. And that's exactly what my Excel Expert course is designed for. It'll help you automate repetitive tasks and master advanced functions that most people don't even know exist. So if you're ready to stop wasting time on manual work, check out the link in the video description and pinned comment. Conditional formatting rules can be confusing. So I'll replicate the logical test in the conditional format here to illustrate what's going on. All it does is take the return rate and check if it's greater than the category average. Press enter and we get a series of true and false values. So where the result is true, we get a format applied. Where it's false, there's no format. We can quickly check that the formatting has been applied correctly by filtering to only show true values. As we scroll down, you can see everything is red. 
and vice versa. We can just show the false values and you can see there's no formatting applied. Now, I don't need this format column, but I'm going to hang on to it because we'll use it a bit later. The nice thing about conditional formatting is I can also use it to quickly filter the data. If I click on the drop down here, I can filter by color to only show values with red fill. And the other thing I can do because my data is formatted in an Excel table is I can insert a slicer. For example, let's say I want to filter quickly based on the categories. Let's click OK. Now I've got a slicer for the categories. For example, let's look at clothing and then I can click on the filter, filter by color. And now I only see the products in the clothing category that are an issue. Let's look at electronics and you can see slicers are just a nice intuitive way to filter, allowing me to quickly toggle between the different categories. Now there are a thousand products in this data set and if we clear the filter, you can see a lot of them have an above average return rate. So how do you decide which products to focus on first? Well, an easy way is with a pivot table. So with the table selected on the insert tab of the ribbon, I'm just going to insert a pivot table. I'm going to pop it on this sheet just so we can see it here beside the data. I'll just move the slicer over there for the time being. I'll drag the pivot table field list out. So I want to see the category in the rows and I'm just going to clear the filter off here so that we can see all of the pivot table. There we go. Next, I want to see the format in the columns and I'm going to count the product IDs that fall into the two categories. So false are products that have below average return rate and true are products with above average. So let's just quickly rename these so that it's clearer. This one is below average return rate and this one is above average return rate. Let's make the columns a bit wider so we can see them. All right. Now it would be great to see the percentage of products for each category that are above and below the average return rate. So I'm going to add the product ID again. And then on the second column for the product ID, you can see product ID two. I'm going to right click show values as percentage of row total. And now we can see beauty has 49.43% of its products with a below average return rate and 50.57 with above average return rate. I'll also bring the total sales into the values area and this will give us a feel for the size of those product groups. And then let's add some conditional formatting with some color scales. We'll go with this red, yellow, green and I'll do the same for the sales color scale, red, yellow, green. And now we can see at a glance that beauty and electronics both have more than 50% of their products with an above average return rate. And they're also the two biggest areas for sales. So it makes sense to focus on these two areas first. Now, the great thing about using these techniques is that it's dynamic and they update easily with changes. So for example, if I change the units returned here to say 60, the conditional format is automatically applied. Plus if I go to the bottom and on the very next row, we add a new entry, we've got a new product P1001. And for simplicity, I'll just duplicate the row above. You can see it's automatically copied the formulas down. And if I change this to 60, the conditional formatting is there as well. And if I go back to the top, my pivot table over here, if you keep your eye on the sports category, as I right click and refresh, I now have 84 products with above average return rate and my percentages have recalculated. So there you go, job done. As you can see, pivot tables are a great way to quickly understand your data, but finding all the hidden tricks that make your data analysis faster and more effective is not so obvious. So check out this video next where I show you seven advanced pivot table tricks that feel like cheating. I'll see you there.